Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Shall we, we shock now or uh, shall we shock Feeling it. Time. All right, here we go. Uh-huh. Don't be fooled by the rock that I got. I'm still, I'm still making from the young. I used to have a little, now I have a lot. No matter where I go, I know where I came from. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm just, I'm just making from the yacht. Cool. Used yeah. to have a little, yeah. now I got a lot. No matter where I go, I know where it is. That was easy. So my parents named me Rachel, Megan, Markle. All right, what's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing? You guys all good? Everything going all right? First of all, let me just say this. Hello, Gavna. Hello, my son. Folks, I'm starting to come to the conclusion that everything is kind of manufactured to some degree. And it seems to be another little coincidence here that somehow I overlooked. And I should have caught on to this. Knowing the ins... The, getting inside of the mind of the Markle, it's not a pretty place. Listen, listen to this. Think about this. So what happened last week? It's got everybody, you know, everybody up in arms. H gets announced this award out of the blue. Undeserving. Not even close. Right? Just totally out of left field. Makes no sense. Right? Okay. And then I'm thinking in my head, well, what? You know what else? What else happened last week that was weird? That didn't make any sense. Oh, yeah, that's right. And it, isn't it odd how, they, how they, they do some huge mess up? You know what I mean? They do something out of whack. They disappear for a couple weeks. And all of a sudden they come back and, you know, oh, there's some award or some, you know, nonsense or whatever. It's any, or some little parking lot pop walk or something. However, this one seems to be a little more quinky dinky than we think. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is out of Daily Mail, right? Now this just says, uh, we talked about, I did a video on this. Sharkley Markley's out, you know, doing a... She's out spotted in Beverly Hills, you know, modeling a tracksuit. Let's get down here, right? Let me show you the photo. This is off TikTok. Now, just scan her this real quick. So the person that shoots the TikTok, okay? So here's Shiesty. I'm assuming this is a stylist, okay? First of all, I don't know where one acquires this ensemble, but this that's a whole nother video, okay? I don't know where you get a pajama outfit, all right? A pajama pantsuit that is converted into sh pajama shorts okay that is also the brightest green you have ever seen in your life i don't know where you get that i don't know what where one would acquire that or have that fitted that's i digress okay so the person who takes this tiktok now you would think this is just some random person taking a tiktok however what their verbiage here doesn't make any sense point of view you casually see Shiesty Meisty on your Beverly Hills City Trail morning walk. Person that took this video is in a car. They're not walking. So what are they talking about? You're not walking. You, 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 you're talking, but you ain't walking. Right? Money talks. Bullshit walks. Shit. Now, think about this too. You casually see Shiesty Meisty. What's casual about this? She ain't walk. She ain't listening to her headphones, taking a little strut down the down the sidewalk here. You know what I mean? She ain't sitting here walking her doggy, broke leg beagle. Where's he at? Nobody knows nothing. Was she? Is she? Is she walking her kids? No, nope. that'd be casual. Walking the doggy, broke leg beagle. That'd be casual. On the phone, that'd be casual. Listening to some music, that'd be casual. Drinking a drinking a smoothie would be casual. Getting fitted by a stylist is not casual, especially when you go to the left, there's another uh, assistant, and then to the left of that is another person who has a, uh, you know, a photography blocking board for the light. And I don't blame them for that. I would have paid extra for that too had I been them because the problem is this. If the sun hits this, this part right here, this North Star right here, the sheen off of this 10 head, it will crack your lens. That's a fact. I'm not a professional photographer, but that's just, that's allegedly what I've heard. Okay. You get the sheen off of that melon that at the right time, at the right place, it's over. Your whole day shot, you can't even take any more photos. It's over. You might as well just pick up your cell phone and, and, and hoof it. It's over, Johnny. It's over. Doesn't matter. Anyways, let's get to the point here. So, eagle-eyed fans have suggested that the ensemble, I ain't talking about the green one, could be a tracksuit from the German sportswear brand Adidas. Collaboration. It's also known, if you want to say it in the pr proper pronunciation, it's known as Adidas. Well, guess what? Uh, 
Adidas looks goofus on the dashas of shashas. Anyways, let's get into this. So it could be a uh, from from Adidas collaboration with Beyonce's Ivy Park label. The clip may be hinting at a return at Beyonce's partnership with Adidas Ivy Park after the 41 year old superstar and the sportswear corporation made the mutual decision in the partnership last year. Well, if they ended it last year, why the hell would they be getting back into it now? Does that make any sense? I guess her country album. I, I don't. What happened with that? You know what happened. You know what? Here's another bizarre point. Ever since that whole uh, P Diddy thing came out, everybody's been real quiet. You ever notice that? No shit. Shit. A little odd, right? Anyway, so the real meat and potatoes of this whole situation. So if this is allegedly Scheissmeist photo shooting for Beyonce's line of Ivy Park hypothetically isn't it interesting that we go back to the same what is what is the lion king the lion king is the circle of life now instead of the circle of life we go to the circle of my wife so listen to this at that same event the lion king that h blew off a military engagement he goes there he gets with bob Iger and hits him up for a, a job for his wife, the circle of his wife. While his wife, the circle of his wife, is talking to Beyonce and Jay-Z. Now, Bob Iger owns Disney. Disney owns ESP. Um, he doesn't own it. He is C CEO, whatever. Disney owns ESPN. Now, the other thing is this. Go back to Pat McAfee. Ca Pat McAfee show. Now, in that article that I showed you guys yesterday, it said he is taking a rare two-week break. In that same article, it did mention something about he had a, a father-in-law that was unwell at a point in time. What, what, what you need to know is that was something that he addressed with on, on his show while it was live on the air. I, I, I believe that's correct, okay? Something didn't happen with one of his family members, and he's got to take a, an emergency leave. They would have said he's leaving because of a family reason. It said he is taking a rare break. Now, also in that same article, it said that he's still going to continue to fulfill his other obligations with other things that he's involved with, other appearances, other things that he's on, other shows, etc. So my point is this. If he's not taking a full-blown vacation, why take the two weeks off of ESPN, right? Who owns that? Or who's the, who calls the shots with that? The Iger. Right? Then you got Shiesty Meisty. All of a sudden, at the same time, H is getting nominated for this award. She's allegedly modeling a, a sweatsuit that possibly is related to Beyonce. And they all were at the same circle of the wife at the Lion King. Let me know your thoughts. Shit. Who loves you, baby? You're beautiful.